But Rap, we're heading down the long and winding road for an exclusive sneak peek at a major musical event. Entertainment guru George Pinocchio is here to take us behind the scenes, the sixth Beatle. That's what you are. Uh, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh. hey, I had a lot of fun tonight. The music of the Beatles is about to rock the Hollywood Bowl. Sir George Martin, the man who produced the Fab Four to superstardom, is conducting a star-studded evening of Beatles music. The evening will take him back to another memorable moment 35 years ago. Close your eyes. When the Beatles played the Hollywood Bowl in 1964, George Martin watched from backstage as the crowd went wild. The moment is vivid even 35 years later. Uh, it was amazing because the sound of the audience was like 3,000 jet planes taking off. It was incredible and they never stopped. Just continual screaming from one moment to the next. <laughs> On this night, Sir George Martin is working something else out. Along with the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra and several guest artists, Martin, often called the fifth Beatle, is bringing the Beatles back to the bowl. The busy conductor granted me the exclusive interview to talk about opening the bowl's 78th season. I talked to Paul the other day. I, I was on the phone to him because it was his birthday and we were chatting away. And he said, you're doing the Hollywood Bowl in, eh? I said, yes. Uh, I, he said, I, I'm sure it'll go well. I said, well, it goes well because of your music, Paul. He said, well, you did have something to do with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Among the artists lending their talents to this gala, Trevor Rabin of Yes. The long and winding road. What do you want them to leave this bowl saying about this concert? I want them to leave the bowl saying, wasn't the Beatles music fabulous? That's what it is, really. And that's how the artists involved also feel. Just ask the Bengals and fifth Bengal, Adam Duritz of Counting Crows. All you need is love. Love, love, love. Sing it with us. Love is all you need. Mm -hmm. Hey, that guy from Counting Crows didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> and George Martin rules. <laughs> If you'd like to see the Hollywood Bowl opening night gala, tickets are still available beginning at $7, best bargain in town. For information, call 323-850-2000. And that's tonight's Hollywood wrap. Fantastic. Envious, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah. We want to go. <laughs> For the pool, here's another official sign that summer is here, the opening of the Hollywood Bowl. This year's kickoff concert features a tribute to the music of the Beatles. The performances may be new, but the songs have a familiar ring. The Hollywood Bowl Orchestra, along with several guest stars, will be playing and singing Beatles tunes at the Bowl's opening gala. The music's been heard here before. The crowds went wild back in the 60s, and the Beatles' longtime producer, Sir George Martin, says they're still going wild today. The Beatles seem to be discovered by each generation as they come along. You see, I don't think the Beatles are any different from George Gershwin or Cole Porter in that regard. It's great music. It's, so I think of it as the songs being great and getting people to sing them. The Bangles are reuniting for tonight's concert. These Beatle fans spent their rehearsal time standing in awe of the music they were about to perform. In rehearsing with the band and the orchestra and George, you realize what a phenomenal amount of brilliant songs the Beatles wrote. And there's a new benefit for Hollywood Bowl concert goers this year, less overhead noise. The venue has made an agreement with the FAA by utilizing strobe lights and searchlights they can warn pilots of concerts that are going on. Well, Beatles Night at the Bowl kicks off the landmark Hollywood venue's 78th season. A wide variety of concerts will run through mid-September.